Does Uber really want to be in the flying car business? Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, Mark here, continuing my vlogs from sunny Florida. I just love it. You know, I'm not really a beach guy, but I love getting out and I have to shield myself from the sun, right? When you have a melon like mine, um, you better do something to protect yourself or you're going to be in a world of hurt. So what we're doing right now is we are heading down the beach and just thinking thoughts. Now, last week at the Uber Elevate Summit, CEO DBS Dara said something that I thought was very telling. Now, as I've said in previous videos, one of the things that I think are really significant and important is that we learn to read between the lines. And what I mean by that is look at what people are saying and then look not only at the exact words they're saying, but the message behind the words. So what we're gonna talk about are two things that Devious Dara said. And one was regarding liability. Now, what I'm gonna say is paraphrasing. Um, obviously, I'm not at my computer. I don't have any notes as I walk down the beach. So it's going to be paraphrasing, and I hope the wind is, is really uh, kicking up now. So sorry if you're looking at my big ugly face really close, but I wanna make sure that I'm close enough to the microphone that you can hear what I'm saying. What did Dara say? One of the things was in response to a question about liability. What is our liability with flying cars? And as I said, I'm gonna paraphrase here, but he said something to the effect of, well, to be honest with you, that's something we really haven't considered. It's something we really haven't looked into. That answer amazes me. It absolutely floors me, considering that a few short weeks ago, one of their vehicles killed a person. And now they're saying, well, we haven't really thought about liability. Talk about putting the cart before the horse. So that's the first thing that I found a little disturbing, that they haven't even considered the liability aspect. But then this next thing I'm gonna tell you about might explain why. One comment he made is, we don't wanna be in the vehicle ownership business. That is amazing. I think about what he just said. We don't want to be in the vehicle ownership business. So all this talk about autonomous cars, all this talk about flying cars, they don't really want to be a part of it. All they want to do is continue running an app. And you know why? Because once they own the vehicles, what happens? They become employers, right? I think that's a significant um, consideration. Number two, they don't want the capital investment of buying all these vehicles. Number three, they don't want the liability issue. They don't want the maintenance. There are so many factors that have to be considered once you have vehicle ownership. But that just tells me so much about what they really want. They know, they have learned that the way to bring in money is just run an app and let everyone else do the hard work. Let us, as drivers, take care of buying the vehicles, maintaining the vehicles, doing repairs, buying gas, the whole thing. All they have to do is keep an app functioning. And it sounds like that's exactly what they wanna do with Uber Elevate, which personally, I don't think that that's really coming in the near future. And even self-driving cars. They do not want to be in the vehicle ownership business. And I think that directly related to his answer to the question about liability. If they don't want to own vehicles, whether they be flying vehicles or autonomous vehicles, what do they want? That's the big question. What do they want? Who is going to 
build the vehicles? Who's going to put the vehicles on the road? Everybody wants to have a hand in it because it's new technology, but how many people really want the responsibility? How many people really want the liability? How many people want to be employees and employers? That's the question. I don't know that I have the answer, but I thought it was really interesting that he made that comment. He very explicitly said, we do not want to be in the vehicle ownership business. Sheds a whole new light on things, doesn't it? So what do you think? What is the future of Uber? What direction is Uber Elevate flying cars and self-driving cars going to take? They don't want to run them. They don't want to own them. Who is going to? Leave your comments down below. As always, I love it when you comment, when you like the videos, when you share the videos, and especially when you subscribe. From sunny Florida, I'm Mark with uberhins.com.